Welcome back. This lesson covers the critical to quality characteristics. But to learn about them, we also need to understand about the customer and his voice, and how a value chain proves to be a critical factor for meeting customer requirements. Let's understand what do we mean by a customer. Any person who receives the output of a process is a customer. So we can have two types of customers, internal and external. Internal customers are within an organization. One department can be customer to another department who is providing any form of inputs, while external customers are those outside the organization. It is very important to focus on all the types of customer. The relationship from one process to the next in an organization creates a value chain of suppliers and receivers of process outputs. Each process has a contribution and accountability to the next to satisfy the external customer. External customers' needs and requirements are best met when all process owners work cooperatively in the value chain. If you see in this picture, we have taken high-level process steps. Bob is external customer to the supplier, and he is supplier to his internal customer Alex. Similarly Alex is supplier to internal customer Lee. And they have an external customer an old lady who has bought the comfy chair. In this chain if any of the step doesn't deliver value, it would impact the final product. So we should keep in mind that, to satisfy the end user, each and every department has to satisfy its internal customer as well. Else the value chain will break, and end customer won't receive what he wanted. In a Six Sigma project, what customer perceives is of the utmost importance. There are four dimensions which can help us find out what does the customer perceive in a product or service, and keep our focus on these throughout the project. Features, integrity, cost, delivery. Features, what functionalities and features does the customer want? Integrity, does our customer trust us? Cost, does the customer see value for the cost he has to bear? Delivery, is our process able to meet the deadlines? Understanding customer requirements is one of the fundamental requirements in any improvement project. Identifying VOC helps us in finding out the necessary information that is important to customer. Such relevant characteristics which should be there in your product or service offering are called critical to quality characteristics. We can call the critical characteristics the CTX where X is the variable corresponding to a critical area. CTQs are developed from examining the customer needs. The quality parameters which are critical and should be monitored to provide a good quality product are identified with the help of CTQ tree diagram. We should differentiate critical to quality from critical to customer. Critical to customer represents what is important to the customer, while critical to quality represents a characteristic that is required to address customer expectations. For example for a customer it is important that he can access a website on his phone. So the critical to customer characteristic is that the website is accessible from smartphone, but in this case critical to quality characteristic would be that website is getting displayed on most popular phone web browsers as it is. Besides the customer voice, there are other critical areas as well like cost, process, safety and satisfaction. We can call the critical characteristics the CTX, where X is the variable corresponding to a critical area. Critical to cost characteristics are those that explain the impact of cost on the customer. There are various cost components that impact the production and delivery of a product and hence may be critical to the customer. For example, a phone company is shipping the batch to city through roadways, in this case fuel cost is a critical factor. Just like other parameters, we must also identify those process parameters which are impacting the quality of product or services. Such critical to process parameters should be monitored and controlled well. A good example for critical to process parameters is the requirement of temperature, humidity etc. in pharmaceutical industry. As word of mouth helps in the business success, customer satisfaction is a critical parameter. We should also identify such specific areas of the product application or service that contributes in customer satisfaction. Such characteristics are useful in managing marketing standards and help in effective branding. We should also identify the parameters which are important from the safety aspect. For example, for an automated car, 
software is as critical as its hardware. Any of them not working may cause serious impact. It becomes very important while defining critical to quality parameters that we also identify all other CTXs as well. Let us now understand more about a tool called Tree Diagram, which is used in identifying the CTQS. The purpose of this tool is to link measure to an important outcome. After collecting voice of customer and analyzing what is the customer want, we need to monitor the process to ensure that we deliver value to the customer. CTQ Tree Diagram helps in identifying such measures which could be aligned with the customer needs and could be monitored as well. A tree diagram can be made in the following way. 1. Identify an output important to customer. 2. Brainstorm all of the drivers necessary to deliver the requirement. 3. Determine the critical to quality measures and arrange them logically on branching limbs. 4. Do a reality check feasibility and desirability of the data. And at the end, discuss and confirm which of the data is to be collected. In this example the important outcome is delivery of comfy chair within 7 days of the order. There are many possible drivers, but here we are listing two, which are, faster delivery and quality of the product. For each driver, we then need to identify the metrics which if monitored, will help in getting the desired outcome. In this way, branching from need are the drivers and branching from the drivers are the metrics. We can see with the help of this example, that CTQ tree diagram is a good tool to find out the critical to quality metrics in a systematic manner. As an exercise, create a CTQ tree diagram for the coffee making process. You wish to serve a hot cup of coffee to each of your six guests within 10 minutes of their arrival. Write down the exact need, identify a couple of drivers which will help you in fulfilling the need. With each driver, map critical to quality metrics. Now we move on to the next lesson. Here we come to an end to this lesson. Should you need any support, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching this video, and see you in the next lesson.